Good evening, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna talk about Express Generator, which is uh, uh, an Express application generating tool. Like uh, in previous videos, when we want to have a when we want we when we want to create an Express application, what we did is first we will use npm init to create a package.json, right? And after that, we manually using npm install express to add express this module into our project, right? And uh, uh, later on, we also talk about we want to using routes. So we create a route for routes folder, then put our router inside that folder. And also we want to display the view, right? So we create a views folder, then we put our views inside the uh, where inside the views folder. And later on, we will also learn about the model, about the controller. So we have to create those by ourselves and uh, uh, which means set up entire project from scratch right express generator based on the name you already you can guess what it is doing it is used for generate an express application it's a very uh, uh, similar to like uh, some people know spring boot Spring Boot is also kind of like uh, an apply help help us to generate a Spring Boot application uh, skeleton. Okay, and this one is the same, which is uh, help you generate an express express application in skeleton code, which is the basic settings is already there. You don't need to config. So let me show you. First thing is you have to install npm install uh, for express generator. It's not belongs to particular object. Uh, sorry, project. Okay, it's not a. Uh, it's recommended to install globally. If you want to install locally, make sure you install in the dev environment. But most likely, you're gonna install in the globally. Globally, okay. Because you might be using, uh, since we are practicing, you might be using the Express Generator to generate multiple Express applications for different lectures or different videos. But for me, okay, only one actually. Okay, npm install a uh, uh, dash g means globally. Okay, and Express Generator. I think I already downloaded this one before. It might do an update. You see, it's gone. It uh, just did an update. Okay, I downloaded this one before. So after do that, I'm gonna go to my day five. This two second one, because this day five, I don't have a next the package on that day five is a uh, uh, entirely a uh, express application. So I create another one. Okay, day f day five two. Okay. And how to use that? You're using Express. And by default, Express choosing the template engine, which is using the Pug, uh, previously called the JED. Okay. And uh, still, when we're using this version, the extension for the default uh, template engine is still .JED. But now the they switch, the, they change the name to be Pug. Okay. Anyway. It's uh, default this one, but uh, for the future lectures, we are not using the JET. We are using the EJS because EJS is very simple. You don't need to learn another language. EJS is a combination of uh, HTML and uh, the JavaScript language. Okay, so you don't need to learn another uh, language for uh, Pug or JET or the handlebars, you have to learn their syntax, how to write the uh, template. EJS is like a, a GSP, it contains HTML and the script language, scripting, okay? And so here Express, we will force it to using EJS and then you give a, a Express Generator Demo, 
okay uh, express app how about that okay you express app okay and after we do you got you it's done okay so here you go inside you will see here have a new folder called express uh, underscore uh, sorry dash app which is the file the file okay the, 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 this uh, project name we use and uh, we're using EJS oh, oh we have to using this way dash dash view EJS okay anyway uh, let's take a look at here it is still using EJS so it's successful so this is all the dependencies uh, which is skeleton dependencies and after you do you will see this is the skeleton which is the folder created it has a public which has images javascript and style sheets okay and i have a routes already okay and also have the views already which is ejs and app.js is also ready see here okay it's already has a built-in cookie parser uh that they have body parser Oh, body parser is already using built in it is changed previous is not okay how to set up the view engine okay like a view engine ejs and the router and the morgan morgan is used for the logging okay so and also for four right and also for the error handler okay all the code actually is already used this one is used for if we want because here have a bin and this one is also used for when you want to um do a controller testing code using chai http then you have to get this uh, app okay so now now we have to do is go to go inside this express app then first thing is npm install okay you just follow instruction like a change directory install okay then he will download all the dependency for us okay so i think it's been done okay and now i uh, will using npm start oh you can call this command cd debug what's the what's the, what's the thing okay and it's running and uh, the default uh, should be 3000 okay let's use in this one three the cohost 3000 you will see this is uh, already set up okay because uh it already has some route for us like this one slash and slash users when we go to slash users okay let's go to slash users it has two routes which you already slash route users like two these two routes is working okay and the first router the this one slash it gonna return this index this one okay you see here index which would express index it are gonna return this ejs file for us and this uh this output here is done by using this morgan if you are interested you can take a look at this morgan which is used for the uh, logging and you we change this one to using a dev environment see here, logger okay anyway uh, express generator if you like it you can use it if you don't like it you can just create everything from scratch it's just a a tool to help you to generate a skeleton code of the express application which is not that fancy okay uh oh, it's kind of fancy i shouldn't say that it's kind of fancy a uh, fancy which means your what well, it's uh, quickly start uh, start your application it can make your project ready very fast okay to initialize or to start up very quickly so that's it for express generator and uh, thank you for watching see you bye bye